in this video we will look at how to assign the functions to Maso's inputs and outputs. Our inputs and outputs refer to physical connection points on Maso, either on the screw terminals running along the top and bottom or pins on the MPG port. The F1 screen is where we set up Maso parameters and assign the various functions to our inputs and outputs. Under the input column there are two types of inputs, fixed and user configurable. The ones at the top from e-stop down to analog input 4 are fixed and their function cannot be changed. However you can invert the input status by selecting the input and pressing the spacebar. When you do this you will see the input column change between yes and no and the state change between low and high. The setting is automatically saved to the controller's memory. Simply select the state you want your input to be in when in the normal condition. For example, when the e-stop is not operated, it should be not inverted and will show high. Below the analog inputs are 32 inputs where you will connect your door switch, probe and homing switches as well as other various inputs. To see the list of input functions, select any input and double click on it. This will bring up a list of available functions you can assign. To assign a function to any input, simply double click on the desired function. Then use the spacebar to invert the input if needed. To change an input, double click on it to bring up the list of functions and select a new one. Or select not used if you wish to remove it. If the function you are looking for is missing from the list, it is because you have already assigned it to another input. In this example, input 32 has been assigned to the door sensor input. And in addition to configuring the input, you can monitor its status as the door opens and closes. In addition to the e-stop input, the door sensor input is the only other input that must be assigned and configured for Maso to work. In the output column, we again have fixed and user configurable outputs. The spindle output functions cannot be changed, but you can invert the output from low to high. Outputs 1 to 16 are TTL or transistor transistor logic outputs and are designed to interface with additional logic or optical isolation circuits to drive the output device. Output relays 1 to 6 are designed to directly drive relays or LEDs provided the current is less than 400 milliamps. Assigning an output uses the same process we use for the inputs. Select your output and double click to assign the required function. Then use the spacebar to invert if required. The status column will show the current state of the output. 